first of all, welcome everyone for the Data Tobogan Conference, and uh, thanks for all the organizers for organizing this conference. And I think this is the second time I'm speaking in this conference. And uh, yeah, I miss the winter uh, time here. It's summer in the Wellington, New Zealand. So uh, this is going to be a quick 10 minute session. And what I want to introduce you to is around Azure Purview. So Azure Purview, like uh, what it is and what you can really do, especially when it comes to data lineage perspective and why it is really important because uh, why data lineage is important for organizations and how Purview can address that for you. So just a quick thing, a uh, little bit about me. If you have any questions, post this session and I have a session uh, next to this too. And feel free to reach out to me after the session too. So Azure Purview is a unified data governance service. So what it really means. So in simple terms, like when we build data warehouses, right? We pull data from uh, totally different data sources. So data can come within the organization or data can come out from outside the organization. And of course they will be transformed and they will be fed into some destination databases. But the problem uh, what happens is with organizations, when they create the data warehouse, it's straightforward because they built the source to target maps and then they design everything and then they do the ETL processes. But post to that when they hand over and there are people who have to maintain these data warehouses in long term, they struggle a bit because all of a sudden uh, the source data schema can change. And uh, so they need to know like, okay, what are the downstream uh, tables that are consuming the data from this particular source? So this is where lineage comes into play. So if they don't know like uh, what is which source is feeding which destination that is going to make uh, life difficult for them. So Azure Purview is one of the uh, solution for solving your data lineage problems in your organization. The good thing about Purview is like it's a cloud solution and again supported by Microsoft and I think there was a gap when uh, Microsoft space for this as a long uh, for a long time. Like we didn't have something, a tool that can do our data cataloging, a tool that can give us uh, data lineage and stuff. So normally we used to go for third party tools to meet those uh, requirements. But Preview is actually answering that. Here are some of the links uh, which I will share um, post this session, which you can use about Preview. But before we uh, move on about this, like let us quickly jump on to a quick overview of what does this Preview data lineage really talks about. So what I have got here is um, I wanted to just explain that in terms with Azure Data Factory. So how you can integrate Purview with Azure Data Factory, but pretty much you can do the same thing within Synapse Analytics too. So I will quickly show you uh, the correlation of that too. So I have got uh, two databases. So I have got a source database here and an inside database. So let me group this by type so it makes it easy. OK, so when it comes to I have got a source database and an inside database, pretty much I treat them like a source and a destination. And then what I have also done is uh, I have got a key vault because I like to store my credentials securely and I have got a preview, a preview account created in here. So what I'm going to quickly show you is uh, jump on to the Azure Purview and uh, here I'm going to open the Purview Studio. So while that is happening in the meantime, I'm also going to show you the Azure Data Factory, which I have created. So that is going to be a simple data factory what I have got in here. So let me open this up and Data Factory Studio. So this is the preview interface. As you can see here, you can browse the assets. You can maintain glossary, which is really important because we know certain terminologies, what it really means. But how do you make sure like uh, you your organization users like speak a single uh, like the same language, right? So that's where the glossary comes into play. When it comes to assets, this tells me like oh, what are the different uh, data sources that I have got in my organization? So uh, what are the tables uh, that I'm using in my ETL processes? Uh, what is the pipelines that I have got? And when I take a particular table, I have a lineage which will automatically tell me like you can see the lineage tab here. So this is the table and it tells me like which table this is feeding to and which pipeline that helps to feed this to. So this is quite valuable. So I don't know how many of you have done, uh, 
used a third party tools to do this. I have heavily used a third party tools and the problem I used to have is around uh, uh, trying to bring everything together. So it's not only like uh, databases, but also like reporting and analytics and bringing those assets into a centralized place. So what we are doing here, this is my Azure Data Factory. So let me save this. So what I have got is a simple pipeline. So as I told you, like I have a source uh, database and a destination database, and I've created a simple pipeline, which is basically transferring the data from one source to the destination SQL databases. So multiple tables, but it gets done. And what I have also done is to, so these are the source and destination data sets, and I have also got a trigger here. So I have got a trigger here, which I can run at any point in time. And this trigger is actually will copy the different tables within my data within the pipeline. So where it comes in terms of integration with Purview. So here you can see under Data Factory, I have got Azure Purview. So I will just link my Azure Purview account in here. So that's what only thing I have done. So I clicked on connect. Now it's showing as disconnect, but you can connect to an account. And then I select my Azure subscription where my Azure Purview resources there, selected that here, and now the data lineage for my pipeline is integrated with Azure Purview. Once it is integrated with Azure Purview, like then pretty much you can go and run your triggers. So let me go back here and run my pipeline. Post integrating with Azure Purview, if you run your pipeline, pretty much you will start getting all your assets appearing in your data catalog. So if you go into your Purview post running your pipeline, all the assets will be here. So here what I have got is like I used to the same uh, the sample database that we get on Azure both for source as well as destination. And what I have done is like the destination didn't have those tables. Source had uh, the default database provision. Created a simple pipeline and uh, linked my data factory with the Azure Purview and then pretty much ran the pipeline to get the assets linked here. And now I can go to any particular table and I can start drilling down into getting the schema as well as data lineage around that. So this is quickly how you can integrate uh, your Azure Purview with the Azure Data Factory. And the same thing because when you look at Synapse Analytics, you get the same similar type of interface. Let me quickly show you that part also like if you are using Synapse. So this is my uh, Synapse workspace. And again, you can see here under the integration part, you um, manage part, you have got the Azure Purview. Similar, connect to your pur Purview account. You can click on here, choose your Azure subscription, which is getting loaded. So at this stage, it didn't come for me. So this one, I haven't created a Purview account yet because I was showing the demo in a different subscription, but the workaround is the same way. So you connect to a Purview account, choose your subscription, and you establish the link here. And once the link is established, any pipelines which you create as part of the integrate part, you can run them quite easily and you will start getting the assets appearing in your Azure Purview. So why do we need this for? Root cause analysis. So what is root cause analysis? So when there is a problem in your ETL processors or something, suddenly uh, there is a data discrepancy or a schema mismatch and new files with new structures are coming. You need to know exactly like where do you jump and look at where does this data comes from. So Purview will help you to do the root cause analysis for that. And impact analysis. Impact analysis is root cause analysis is basically after the problem has happened, then how do you resolve it? Well, impact analysis is some organizations will come and say we are planning to change the structure of our file or uh, the schema that you are, we are going to provide you. And can you just update your ETL processes? So if you want to know that they, if uh, the first question that will be asked is, OK, what are the impacted tables? You can do a quick impact analysis using uh, Azure Purview saying like, OK, I can see like if we touch this source, these are all the downstream uh, tables or files that will be impacted and you can just uh, uh, do your impact analysis quickly. So that's in a quick nutshell how you can actually integrate your Azure Data Factory pipelines with the Azure Purview. So hopefully like if you haven't got a data catalog in your organization, uh, start using Purview because uh, it's a great tool and now you don't need to rely on any third party tools. It's a cloud tool closely integrated with all the Azure stack that you have got. So get ready and start using it.